here at the Belton Area Museum Association. We have a new exhibit, South Carolina's Most Wanted, looking at the people who created moonshine illegally, to the law enforcement that pursued them, what could have became of moonshine, to the legal moonshine that you can buy today. You'll see everything from moonshine stills from the late 1800s to South Carolina dispensary bottles from the period where South Carolina required all alcohol to be bottled by the state of South Carolina to NASCAR and moonshine. From the last statistics, I think that we've almost doubled in the last few years. We are starting a forensic science minor this fall. We've added a couple of graduate programs. So I would definitely say, yeah, it's definitely growing and the students love it. I am an AU professor. I teach forensic science and criminology and forensic psychology. There used to be a television show called Quincy and absolutely loved it, loved putting puzzles together, solving the puzzles. And my undergraduate degree was in chemistry. Went into the private sector, and then lo and behold, I was in San Diego, California, and said, wow, forensic science. Starting my career in Los Angeles for the Los Angeles Police Department. Troy County did donate some of the exhibits that's on display today. We're always happy to be involved with any community uh, efforts, and with criminal justice programs specifically, that's my background, so it was really important for me to bring our students out and make sure that they see the history of the profession they're getting in. To be here also on a personal note today, just to support the history of law enforcement.